The Green River Dam Authority plans to stop allowing float operators to use some of the public access points on the Illinois River starting in April. The businesses say they have little time to make other plans. News on 6's Emory Bryan has the story from Cherokee County. Peyton's Place on the Illinois River opened 53 years ago, and like a handful of other commercial float operators, they've benefited from the use of public access areas to drop off the people who rent their boats. All of the float camps, like Arrowhead, are closed for the season, and their next season will be changed if a decision by GRDA stands. The utility authority has an agreement to maintain the public access sites like Peavine Hollow, one of the busiest ones, but they're ending that agreement next April. With the property falling back under the authority of the Department of Wildlife Conservation, commercial use will be prohibited. The GRDA decision affects the access points at Watts, Round Hollow, Stunkard, Peavine Hollow, No Head Hollow, and Echota. Each one will remain open for the public to use, but not by the float operators or any other business. The float operators got the notice by email Wednesday, and though they're not willing to talk about it yet, they're gearing up for a fight. They're reaching out to political leaders, telling them how this change would affect their business and limit options for customers. They're also worried it might be the beginning of more restrictions. Float operators like Eagles Bluff bring in tourists from several states who rent the equipment to float the Illinois. The businesses will still have options to launch and retrieve the boats, but not at the places they've historically used unless GRDA backs off the decision. In Cherokee County, Emory Bryan, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.